water, mango juice. You guys want to have a look at the mountain view today? Ah. Anyway, there's the mountain view. See it? The mountain that's that's there. Okay, looks like it's gonna be another indoor bike session today. I'm even gonna throw the mask on during the warm up and the cool down for extra protection. It's bad out there today, man. Uh, I may cut this session short a little bit because, yeah, who knows how much damage I'm doing if I'm doing you know, high intensity stuff while uh, the pollution is so bad. Oh well, let's get a bit of work in anyways. So I'm halfway through the workout, going pretty well. Today's session I did a 20 minute warm up at around 160 watts. And then uh, I did 10 minutes at 210 watts, just to sort of heat things up a little bit. Uh, at which point I realized that I forgot to turn the fan on. So now I've got a fan going, which is definitely helping now that I'm actually in the meat and potatoes of the uh, workout. Or should I say the uh, the tofu or the seitan and the and the potatoes? So um, the workout is one minute at 350 watts, and then it, into two minutes at 280 watts, and then repeat that four times. And there's no rest between those. It's just 350, 280, 350, 280, uh, four times, and that's the first set. And so now I'm doing. Uh, four minutes of recovery, just spinning easy at around 160 watts, and then I'll do that again. So four times, one minute at 350 watts, and two minutes at 280 watts. And the idea with this workout is it's basically over unders, um, and you know my threshold. It depends whether I'm going flat, whether I'm on the trainer, or whether I'm uphill or whatever. But my threshold is basically somewhere between 300 and 330 watts. So, yeah, basically 350 is safe to say over my threshold, and 280 is safe to say under my threshold. But by pushing those recoveries, basically what you get is you get lactate accumulating during that one minute above threshold, and then you're forced to basically process that lactate at a higher intensity. And this can be really helpful training for, you know, when you're racing, uh, if there's a surge in the race, rather than saying, oh, that's, you know, I'd have to go above my threshold to, to keep up with this person, so I'll just stay back here and hold steady power. Well, that's the way that you can lose races, right? So you wanna train surging and then recovering and uh, yeah. That's what this session's all about. So, let's do another another set, and that'll be it. Cool down for 15 minutes or so after that. And uh, yeah, see you guys in a little bit. All right, last one minute. One more minute at 350, and then two more minutes at 280, and then cool down. Session done and now it is pineapple time. I figured I had to start eating some different fruits or otherwise you guys would think that all I ate was watermelon and bananas, which is kind of true, but not entirely true. I ate tons and tons of different fruits, but bananas and watermelon are definitely uh, some of my favorites. Until I came to Thailand, I had never had an actually sweet pineapple. All the pineapple in Canada was super, super sour, burns your mouth after like two bites, but this, Mmm. I couldn't stop myself. I'm still having bananas. And noodles. We got a full belly. We're gonna have a nap. We're gonna wake up. 
and go get that swim done. up the swim it was a good set I actually managed to do 10 times 100 meters going off of 150 and every one of them was under 135 so that is a good swim for me especially at this time of year and I also found uh, Shane Goodhue is out there at, in the water somewhere swimming around it's a busy spot here tonight I haven't been at the 700 year stadium in the evening in a long time but oh my god how's your swim Shane uh, it was interesting um, lots of people, very smoky, so uh, let's just call it um, open water swimming training or race training. Not too bad at all. Hell yeah, man. Good to get it done. Coach on deck. All right, so uh, that's all for today. We had the over and under threshold bike session in the morning and the CSS swim session in the evening. CSS, by the way, that stands for critical swim speed. So basically, the speed that you would swim about 1,500 meters at. Um, now, that might have been a little bit faster than CSS pace, but it was fairly comfortable. Uh, I, I think my CSS pace is getting faster. You know, it used to be around 140 per 100 meters, and then so that would give me 10 seconds rest. Now today, the fact that I was able to do 10 times 100 meters 135 usually it's coming in you know faster 134 133 some of the time and then leaving on 150 um yeah i don't know i think i might do another test to see where my css swim speed is at and you do that by taking you do a 400 meter time trial and then a 200 meter time trial and then you can plug that into some online converter and get your your css uh speed or your critical swim speed so um, yeah, anyways, it was a good session. And that's, again, with all these sessions, this is sort of a test week to see how it all fits together, if it works well. I had actually planned on doing the swim in the morning and the bike in the evening, but looking at the schedule, it actually makes more sense to put the swim in the evening and the bike in the morning. Um, yeah, but anyways, I think it's going pretty well so far. Looking forward to tomorrow. Got a hard run session coming tomorrow night. You guys are gonna see me suffer in that. But um, yeah, it was a good day today. Feeling good. Two fairly tough sessions, but pretty manageable. Let me know what you guys think. Post it in those comments below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.